Hello everyone and when, welcome back to the Oak Island Research Channel. Um, this is going to be a very short video, um, and maybe another one tonight if I got time. And uh, this video is, is the uh, um, sequel uh, to the, the video we had before about the fish. And a friend of mine came home uh, today and uh, I was showing him the fish uh, that was inserted inside the island. And he made some remarks about proportion and how neat would it be if this and that. And that gave me an idea. I thank him anyways, because without him, I wouldn't have been on that track. But I found something very interesting. So you remember that slide <clears throat> where I was trying to make my fish go around the island somewhere. And I finally found from last video that uh, if I set the fish this way, it would perfectly fit into uh, my trail of instruction. And remember, I got a little racetrack to go around and it hits all points. And very often in La Rochefoucauld Maps riddles, either they give you an instruction and you're going to have to figure it out first, what the instruction is and then what to do with it. Or there are also features that you have to find by yourself. But the nice thing is when that happens, they usually give you a feedback proof, something like, OK, you did that and you didn't know what you're doing. But then look at this, this, this and that. It proves you are right. And I came up with such proof on my positioning of the fish. And it's, it's really my friend that, that made me connect those points. But look at this. You're going to be interested if you know a bit about the numbers in Oak Island riddles. There we go. So what I did is now that my fish is set on my island, I connected the eye of the original fish at the bottom right corner, connected to the eye of my printed fish on top of the island. And I connected the tail to the eye also, because this looks like a very nice triangle endpoint, that eye. For reference, I made a horizontal line. Also, maybe not from that eye, but it's all right, because I'm looking for degrees. And look at what I found. Anybody who knows those number is going to be very interested. Um, the eye to fish angle to the eye of the fish here is nine degrees. And we'll get back to that number because we'll cross that number several times. The remaining angle to horizontal line is 27 degrees. I measure that with my angle measure. Now, of course, um, I'm measuring lines. I could be off, off by half a degree if I just move the fish by, you know, uh, a tenth of an inch on the right or on the left, you might have degrees, but it's not 20 degrees here. It's not two degrees. It's it's either 8.5 or 9.5 or 9. So I'm very happy to find that number. Uh, 27 is also a usual suspect that we meet very, very often. And 78 degrees, that number speaks for a lot of people who've been studying that map. And I will reveal, I think it's my next video, where we get that number from and why is it important. And another last one is that my backbone line, when I, when I, what I call the backbone line here, that one, and I'm going to also explain um, in the next video how you find that line precisely, is at 90 degrees from the eye to eye fish. Um, there is a French statement, and that's called la preuve par neuf. You learn that in primary school, and I'm sure you get that in, in the US and Great Britain. This is just a mathematical, mathematical property that you can, uh, la preuve par neuf is that you prove by the number nine. I think it's when you do division of numbers and then the nines get some magic trick that validates your your calculation. And preuve par neuf, meaning proof by nine, and you learn at, at uh, high school now or even primary here in France. Would that be a preuve by nine that anything you check has got a nine degree somewhere? I don't know. I'm, I'm getting too far there. But um, I'm sure um, Michael and William would be interested in those numbers because they will speak to them big time. And that's another proof to me, to us, that positioning the fish that way, with that size, give those proportion. And that's very interesting. That proves that that's, I'm on the right track and that's the way to position the fish. Voila, there'll be more video. Oh, yeah, I forgot that one point here. That's also interesting. Look at that. The alignment of the eye of the fish and the hash there, where already some lines are crossing, my hash to cross and my V of travail, well, that heads right into the tail here. How beautiful. Uh, yeah. And again, maybe one millimeter up and down, but I mean, that's meant to be aligned. And that's a beautiful thing. So thank you for watching this short video. And uh, there'll be more to come, of course. Have a good night. Bye-bye.